So take a look. This video fueled outrage throughout Detroit. It shows a man smashing the window of one of the city's most beloved hotspots. Tonight, he's been caught in a rain, but it's what happened next that makes this so much more than just an act of vandalism. Mara McDonald live downtown for us in Mara. Cafe de Mangos is like really nothing else in the city. It's a treasure. It is a treasure, and Larry Mongo um, is an institution. So let me take you inside Cafe de Mongo. Okay. Thank you, Eli. The cocktails are outstanding, but calling it a bar or speakeasy doesn't capture the true spirit of the jewel box of a place that is really a modern salon with an intersection of the rich, famous, notorious, and every day you'll find nowhere else, presided over by Larry Mongo. Instinct, the one that got me from one year old to 73, kicked in. Mongo's past is filled with what could fill a book on Detroit's purple gang, bootleggers, and numbers games. He'll tell you he's all too well aware of what a real criminal looks like, which is why 21-year-old Jared Geck caught on camera busting his window didn't impress him at all. But his brother Joy called me. That young man, he could have been a rapper. He was talking so fast, trying to explain to me who his brother was to him. Joey, who is in a wheelchair, told Larry everything, admitted Jared did it, apologized up and down, and Larry Mongo, who has literally seen it all. I'm a person who don't trust words. I trust instinct. Opted to give this kid a break. Today, the Gex came to pay for the window and apologize in person, and Larry had an ask of his father. Oh, your son got a second chance. Give some kid out there a first chance who don't even know you're going to be his angel. The Gex are in the building business. Larry asked that his father give a qualified minority an apprenticeship. Nice to see you. Oh, thank you, love. As the cafe opened tonight, there was a line. Everybody wanted to hear what had happened. Larry, you have a tendency to change trajectories <laughs> at every moment. Back here live. Now, Gek is going to have to go through the legal system, but Larry says he's going to go to bat for the kid and try and get this expunged from his record. But he's also asked him to volunteer his time at the Capuchins. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Mara McDonald. Local four. Mara, you said everyone was the, the, in line to see what happened, but really the story is Larry's <laughs> reaction saying, you know, give someone a first chance. Well, I think Larry is the story. Yeah. I mean, he truly is an institution in this city. You are not going to find another Larry Mongo running around. And if you ever do have a chance to come in here for a drink, do and ask him all about the Purple Gang. Oh, Back to you. all right. Most definitely. Thank you, Mara. We appreciate it.